Gosh! Sussex's jet utilization sets alarm bells ringing as Palace ponders getting the ball rolling in Glasgow. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's private jet usage has come under scrutiny, amid a wider row about the firm's climate change impact. This week marks 26 Colombian pesos, a climate change summit being held in Glasgow, where members of the royal family are to be in attendance and press the case for urgent action. While it was announced last week that the Queen will not be there, Prince Charles, 72, and his wife Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, 74, and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, both 39 are still set to make an appearance and interact with the world leaders descending on the Scottish city. The royal family members will also receive the help of the Queen, albeit only in virtual form. Later today, the Prince of Wales will tell leaders the world must put itself on a warlike footing to tackle the climate crisis. The Queen will also make her appearance at tonight's evening reception by delivering a speech she pre-recorded last week. The gathering of activists, world leaders and experts officially began yesterday and will run until November 12. Over the next two weeks, pressure will be on politicians to make meaningful commitments to stave off the climate crisis and tackle the most pressing environmental issues the world is experiencing. And both future kings Prince William and Prince Charles are expected to weigh in the discussions. Later today, the Prince of Wales will tell leaders the world must put itself on a warlike footing to tackle the climate crisis. As both Charles and Prince William have widely commented publicly on the theme of climate change. Chris Ship, ITV News Royal Editor took to Twitter to mention how billboards have been erected in Glasgow ahead of the conference by anti-monarchy campaign group Republic blasting the royals as hypocrites. The billboards claim that the future leaders are hypocrites for their usages of helicopter flights, private jets, multiple huge homes and personal train while being so outspoken on the issue of climate change. Amid this wider row, Mr Ship was then called out for the prevalent UK media coverage that discusses the use of private jets by Meghan Markle, 40, and Prince Harry, 37, with it Rihanna 88 writing, and Chris I actually agree but surely you know can see the blatant hypocrisy that the Sussexes experienced by mainly UK reporters. Not one reporter calling out senior royals usage of jets, not one. The heir to the throne, who has dedicated his past five decades to the environment, will speak in his speech of a need for a vast military-style campaign to marshal the strength of the global private sector with trillions at its disposal. Charles who earlier this year launched the Sustainable Markets Initiative which aims at creating a coalition of the willing focused on putting eco-sustainability at the forefront of their businesses, will also urge delegates at the summit to work together with businesses. He will say, we have to put ourselves on what might be called a war-like footing. One of the key appointments of the royals in Glasgow will be this evening's reception. However, the royal commentator hit back at the user to defend himself and the couple by writing. Nor were Harry and Meghan criticised for taking private jets on official working business as I recall, well no one of sound judgement. So your point is a little lost on me. He further expanded on this in response to another user, by making reference to the usage of similar methods of transport used by US President Joe Biden by writing. Just as Joe Biden has used Air Force One and a long motorcade for the G20 summit. It's business, before adding, although they should all look at doing it more sustainably.